This video uh, is meant to demonstrate the Coriolis effect using a turntable. Um, the center of the turntable represents the pole of the Earth. Could be the North Pole, could be the South Pole. Uh, and the edge represents the equator. Now when the turntable turns on, you can see the cardboard earth rotating about its axis. Uh, in this case, it's rotating clockwise, suggesting that the pole is the south pole in this case. Now if the earth was not rotating, and I wanted to move from the pole to the equator, in a straight line, I could do so. Right there. But the Earth is not stationary and it is rotating. Well, what happens if I try to do the exact same thing but on the rotating Earth? Imagine I'm a little packet of air, cold air, I'm gonna use blue cold air because it's at the pole, and we're gonna move from the pole to the equator. Again, that was done in a straight line, as you can see with the straight edge. But this time there was a, uh, resulted in a curved line. Like so. Now what happens if we move from... <laughs> equator to the pole, the opposite direction. This time, we're going to be a little packet of hot air. So we'll use red. And there we go. Again we curve. And this time, in the opposite direction. So, one interesting thing of note uh, about this Corvallis effect. Tropical storms always spin the same way, uh, depending on the hemisphere that they're in. Uh, those storms are low pressure systems, which sucks in the air from around it. Well, what happens as the earth is spinning, the air coming from the pole to the system goes like this. Yeah, see? And the air coming from the equator to the system goes like so. Yeah, see? So what happens is you end up getting circulation in this case, that circulation is counterclockwise. And it will always be counterclockwise for storms that originate in the southern hemisphere. <laughs>